Hello, welcome to the very last coffee tasting video of 2023. And today it is Inza from Colombia, which is on the tasting table. Um, this is a washed coffee, um, mixed cultivar and grown across uh, a broad altitude. Um, it's a regional collection. So there'll be a bunch of different farms that have um, put in to, uh, to create this coffee. Um, Colombian coffees are wonderfully acidic, they're wonderfully sweet, and they tend to have a really rich body as well. So that was my approach when it came to roasting. Um, my total roast time was 10 and a half minutes, and post first crack development was one minute and 36 seconds. And I chose this um, slightly shorter uh, development time for, for me because I really wanted the acidity to be a prominent part of the cup. I wanted it to sparkle. So in the cup then, I'm expecting to find this sparkling acidity, but, um, but also some of that rich body. So let's have a quick taste. Mm. Right, so this is a batch filter brew, um, a method in which uh, should allow acidity to come forward. And that's exactly what I've got in the cup. There's this mix between a, um, a grapefruit-like acidity, but underpinned with sweet orange as well. So uh, a pairing between that sparkle and, and the orange, uh, which is really quite delightful. Once that clears, you then have this, um, this toffee-like character, so, um, so maybe a touch of caramel as well. Uh, and then underpinning that, there is this really unctuous dark chocolate. Uh, this is going to be a coffee that would be broadly suitable to every method of brewing. Um, it will be a nice effervescent espresso-based drink. There's enough body in the dark chocolates that would work well with milk. Um, and maybe that toffee pairing too would be a really wonderful thing. As a filter brewer, as I've got now, it's, this is right in the socket of delight. Um, the dilution ratio will allow just that lovely opening up of this coffee. So it's gonna be my method um, that I would prefer people to, to brew with. Um, it would also be great as a cafetiere too. Um, there's gonna be lots of that body perception in there. The dark chocolate will really come through with that one. I'll keep this video short today because I've got an awful lot to do. I've got to clean down the roastery for the end of year. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll recap. Washed coffee from Colombia, Inza. It's a regional lot. Um, expect grapefruit, sweet orange, lots of toffee, and a rich dark chocolate finish. It's crisp, it's clean. Um, and it's a really great display of an 84 to 85 point um, coffee from Colombia. I hope you enjoy and thank you for all of your custom in 2023. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.